I'm back again with another video. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, everything you have done so far. Um, I just want to say before I even get into the video, honestly, my channel would not be where it is at today if it weren't for you guys. Um, I feel like every time I get on to check, you know, the statistics or the analytics of my channel, it's constantly, constantly growing. So again, thank you guys without each and every single one of you sharing, commenting, liking, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, all of that is definitely contributing to the growth of this channel. Um, so today, um, I'm going to be talking about how to stay motivated in nursing school. I feel like I have gotten to that point in the semester where I have absolutely no energy to study, no motivation, nothing. Um, especially after spring break, I had lost all motivation because prior to spring break, I was just getting back all my motivation and energy from like the Christmas break. So after spring break, I was literally, or I'm literally like done for. I'm searching for ways to just be motivated, stay motivated, um, continue to study, not get distracted. And honestly, it's hard. Um, and just, you know, if you guys are going through this, just know you're not the only one. I feel like it is supernatural. It happens. Um, but today I'm going to give five tips um, in order to get over that not having motivation, not having the energy to study. Um, five tips that really help me, so hopefully they can help you. Okay, so tip number one. Um, it's going to be remember why you started. So um, I know a lot of times you can get discouraged, you can get flustered, you can get you know, aggravated, overwhelmed, whatever it may be. And this is whether, you know, you're in nursing school or not, you're in high school, you're in your prereqs, whatever the case may be, you may just feel like overwhelmed all at once. But at the end of the day, you want to remember why you started. Um, because a lot of times I remember, I'm going to use this this day for an example. You know, when I got my white coat to go into nursing school, that was probably the most joy I have ever felt in a very, very long time and still have felt to this day. So... Every time I think about, you know, when I got that white coat and prior to that white coat, all the hard work, all the studying that I had that I had put in prior to nursing school, um, and I remember, you know, the decision, I mean, the day that I had got the decision that I was accepted into nursing school, um, and then even prior, even before that, the decision that I made to actually want to be a nursing student, um, I just try to continue to relay um, not relay, but replay the day of my white coat ceremony, replay the day that I got my acceptance letter, replay the day that I got accepted into college, replay the day that I graduated high school. I just, when I start feeling overwhelmed or just feeling like, like, what am I doing? I think about all those happy times where I was so happy that I had so, I had the mindset that I don't care what I'm about to go through in nursing school. Like, I've made it this far. I'm so happy. Like, just feeling like this is where I belong. So, you know, just keeping in mind why you started, whether, um, you know, you wanted to better yourself, you wanted to better your future, better, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever reason, well, I can't even get that out, but whatever reason um, that, you know, made you want to start nursing school, kind of go back to that and kind of go back to all the good memories leading up to nursing school. And I guarantee you that will help you, you know, just gain a little bit of motivation to continue to study and continue to get through your program. Okay, tip number two, you want to keep the end goal in mind. So every single time I get a new blueprint, a new, a new assignment, a new quiz, a new whatever, new clinical, you know, assignment, whatever the case is, I just think about May 2019, May 2019, May 2019. Every single time, I'm just like, what am I doing? Why am I here? How am I here? May 2019, May 2019, May 2019. All I can think about is getting my degree, walking across that stage, not having to worry about paperwork, assignments, papers, care plans, not having to worry about, you know, any of that anymore. It kind of calms me. It soothes me. And then every time I think about, you know, I just have a year left until I graduate, I kind of get excited because honestly, my entire college career, even when I was doing my prereqs, it went by super fast. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, if I can make it the past four years from 2014 to 2018, that's, you know, my prereqs and um, some of my nursing courses. If I can get through that, which was the last four years, I can push through this last year and graduate May 2019. So again, just keeping that end goal in mind, whether you're in high school right now, keep that end goal of graduating high school in mind, getting accepted into college when you're in, if you're in college right now, taking your prereqs, keep that end goal of getting into nursing school in mind. You honestly... 
it's good to have your long-term goals, but to have those short-term goals makes you feel like when you actually achieve those goals, you know, you feel like you're actually accomplishing something. So having those short-term goals that lead up to your long-term goal um, can definitely motivate you and give you the energy to study and get through whatever you're trying to get through, whether it's high school, your prereqs, or nursing school. Okay, tip number three. So try to keep in mind, you are here for a reason. And... I don't want to say this without sounding, you know, any type of way or throwing any type of, I don't want to say shade, but, you know, just trying to sound any kind of way. I mean this in the most honest, humblest way possible. There are so many people that work so hard. They pray. They do everything I, they can just, you know, so they can be a nursing school. I mean, myself alone, I pray so hard. I work so hard. Um, up in my prereqs, like up until the point when I had got and still continuing, you know, just to be in nursing school, just to be in the spot that I am right now. So there are a lot of times often where maybe I'm not as appreciative or I'm not as thankful. Um, but don't get me wrong. I'm very thankful that I'm in nursing school because again, there's a lot of people that really wish, you know, they were in my spot. There's a lot. Let me say this. When I was in semester one, I prayed for the day that I was in semester three, prayed for the day. And right now that I'm in semester three, I'm paying for the day, praying for the day where, and when I get into semester five and can graduate. You have to think, you know, your situation could always be a lot worse to a certain extent. I don't want to say worse because even if you're in semester one, regardless of the end of the day, you know, semester one of nursing school, you're still in nursing school. So your situation is really not that bad. You just have to, like I said earlier, keep... You know, keep the end goal of my keep the end goal in mind, and the closer you get to that goal, you know, you're gonna feel like you know you're accomplishing things. And when you notice that you're accomplishing things, and, you know, getting things done, and believing in yourself, having the confidence to get things done, you know, that's gonna drive you. That's gonna give you so much motivation just to go even that much harder. You know, so again, just keep in mind you're here for a reason. You know, there's a lot of people that wish they were in nursing school, or even people, you know, you guys that are taking your prereqs. There are a lot of people um, who, you know, alone are wishing they were in college. So just try to be as thankful as possible. You're blessed to be in the position that you're in. And, you know, as much as you may hate to study, as much as you may hate to stay up, miss things, miss events, miss family, whatever, you know, there's just certain things that you have to sacrifice in, you know, school and especially in nursing school you know just to get by just to get through the program um but at the end of the day again keeping that end goal in mind it's all going to be worth it okay tip number four taking a relaxing moment away from studying so i know because i this happened to me once upon a time you know there there are some of us out here that feel like we need to get all of our study in all of our information all of our material in you know within one setting absolutely not not possible um, cause I feel like personally that's equivalent to cramming. So you want to, you know, when you're studying, break things up, you know, take it piece by piece before you move on to new content, make sure you're understanding the content that you're looking at in that very moment. But, you know, by me saying taking a relaxer from studying, set maybe a couple hours out the day. You know, if you study every day or if you study every other day, take one day out of the week, you know, just set some time aside. It honestly doesn't matter how much time. Just set some time aside to get away from studying. Don't think about studying. Don't think about school. Don't think about anything. Do something, you know, that relaxes you, whether it's go get your nails done, go get your hair done, go swimming, go sit outside, go work out, whatever the case may be. Honestly, if your life is studying 24-7, 365 from sun up to sundown, you are going to be, I don't want to say miserable, but you're going to be miserable. Like you, you honestly don't want to do that because you're going to start, that burnout is going to come quicker versus, you know, having it normally in the mid semester after you've had some breaks and, you know, trying to recuperate after all that versus, you know, or not versus, but, you know, you would actually have that burnout, like I said, earlier on in the semester. So taking some breaks because honestly going in for the kill 24 7 is going to like it's gonna mess with you mentally you're gonna be tired you're gonna be exhausted so you know make sure you're taking those breaks away from studying whatever it is um just take a few hours out the day to get it done because i promise you you know <clears throat> it's so weird because after i take moments away like that like if i'll just like go you know sit in my bed and watch youtube videos 
out of nowhere, especially if I'm watching nursing YouTube videos, I like get in this mode of wanting to study. So once you get in that mode of actually wanting to study, there's no stopping you. Like all that information you're going to go over, you're going to study and that moment is literally going to stick because that's something you actually want to do. Okay, tip number five. I will say tip number five is optional. However, this honestly, above all tips, this tip the most helps me. Okay, so <clears throat> before, and I just honestly, I'll be quite honest with you guys, I just started this like a few weeks ago, not not that long ago, but I found out that it's been, you know, very effective for me. Saying um, a prayer, reading a scripture, whatever the case may be, listening to a gospel song um, before each study session kind of relax you, relaxes you and pushes your mind in a positive, you know, a positive atmosphere kind of puts you in a positive you know mindset to want to actually focus you know look at the stuff that you're supposed to be looking at block out all distractions and just focus focus in on what you're supposed to be focusing in on so again you know looking at that scripture even if it's you know if you're not really religious like that if you just want to look at a quote your favorite quote you know from offline a dr seuss quote whatever the case may be you know Something that you're going to look at that's going to motivate you and keep, you know, you know, allow you to have a clear mindset. I would definitely recommend you do that before each time you study. Um, for those of you who follow me on Snapchat, you know, every time I go take a test, it's routine and it's been routine since semester one. I'll listen to gospel music all the way to school when I wake up in the morning. I'll put on gospel music. I always read a scripture um, on test days. And then, like I said, on the way to school, I'm always, always, always you know, listening to gospel music, and I will forever do that, um, especially, you know, not especially, but all the way into semester five, that's something, you know, like I said, it puts me in a clear mindset, it relaxes me, and it just, you know, blocks out all the distractions. So, again, this, this tip alone is optional. However, I do want to say, if you're not a religious person, you know, to each his own, if you have your own, you know, favorite quote, favorite saying from a book from a poem whatever the case may may be you know looking at that quote looking at whatever that scripture before studying and on test days i promise you guys you're going to see a big difference in your mindset and you know your mode of wanting to get things done okay guys so i think that's actually it for this video that's my five tips again number five was optional but um hopefully these tips help you again we're halfway through the semester literally summer is like right in the distance I can almost touch it um, so just stay motivated keep your energy um, and again one of the main reasons why I'm making this video is because I feel like I have lost all motivation all energy so again if you're feeling this way it's absolutely normal again just try to find ways to you know build up your motivation build up your drive your ambition remember why you're here remember you know like I said that end goal May 2019 um, and in the end, before you know it, you're going to close your eyes. It's going to be time for graduation and you're going to be a nurse. Um, if you're in nursing school right now, if you're in your prereqs, you're going to be in nursing school. And then if you're in high school, you're going to be off in college getting ready, you know, to prepare for nursing school. So again, one more time, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, um, turn on the notification bell. So every time I post something, you will get that notification. You don't want to miss it. Um, I probably, I'm actually probably going to record another video here in a few minutes. So tomorrow I'll probably double upload. I know it's been like two weeks since I posted. Again, school has gone absolutely crazy. So be on the lookout for that. And if you have any videos that you would like me to cover, make sure you leave that down below in the comments. Um, if not, if you don't want to do that, cool. It's a-okay. If you want to shoot me a uh, email, that's uh, perfectly fine too. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.